Hey there, this studio was not always like this. It is a crappy basement and I'm going to show you how I built this and you can do it for yourself. I'm in my basement and I'm going to turn this place into a YouTube studio and I want to bring you guys in this journey so you can get some ideas and think about creating your own YouTube studio. Hey guys, it took so many months to put this basement studio together and here I can get the perfect sound. I can sit down and talk to the camera, talk to you guys because I have set everything up, turned the switch on and it should be ready to go. And it was evolved over time. So it was never this like this before. Let me show you and how this space looked like before and what changes I made. So let's get started. It's untreated basement. Nothing is covered. Hard brick walls, exposed wood on top and at the back it's just a savage paper and it's still I have to cover that window and stuff but this is very unrated and this is how it sounds like and what the plan is I got this blanket here which is from Harbor Freight. So we're gonna put this up and then I also ordered the sound blanket from I'll put the name of that shop here. That's like one piece of you know same blanket is $51 whereas this moving blanket is $4 so we will see how those things sound and we'll go from there all right so behind the scene this is the starting point this is a cardboard piece uh, that looks like a wall actually this was something that I bought from Home Depot so it looked like that basically painted white so if I put it at the very back it will look like a brick wall i have run some wires here so for lighting for the backlight and some practical lighting so the main idea is with this blanket i need to cover this part of it so all the ugliness goes away i just previously had the savage photo paper so i may or may not use it i think step one is like how I previously had this blanket this is also a moving blanket I may have to cover across the back and all the way to the front where I'm gonna sit so it's a mess right now but but at least you guys can get an idea what I'm working with and what it will look like eventually so hey guys so this is another day so I have uh, connected the XLR mic which is right out here outside of the frame and this is to test how it sounds without any treatment in here the walls behind me are exposed and on both sides I think this I have previously so I'm gonna keep it there but nothing in front nothing in the back and this side so this is how it sounds like when there is no blanket at all Finally, it is all done. I have put the blankets at the back and the side as well as in front and on top. So there is one remaining and most likely I'm going to put it onto the, this side of the wall. I wanted to cover one more on the top on other side because that's where my washing machine is right above. The reason I wanted it on top is so that it can eliminate or reduce any sound or footsteps that is coming from top. So that's the reason so anyway we'll do that and uh, as we go we will continue to modify the setup to get the optimal sound this blanket which is the producer's choice sound blanket and it is ideal for cutting down the echo and reverb noise reduction percentage is 80 percent so it is a good option to have and i'm pretty happy and you can feel it and this i would say it's almost two pounds it weighs pretty much and it, it's very thick. It's like a blanket or a comforter. It feels like that. If you have a good quality microphone, it still will produce a great quality sound. As you saw in the beginning of the video where the back was not covered, it was exposed wall. But because of the quality of the mic, it still captured good quality sound. But where this is going to help is any reverb, any echo, as well as cutting down any sound coming from outside of your area. So if you put it on the front, it will cut down 80% of the sound that is coming through the front. 
also if you are in a basement like me then if, because the ceiling is exposed it's gonna bring all the sound without any cutting down so having this hung on the ceiling it's gonna prevent that sound at least in a great deal so this is not cheap this uh, material it's 72 by 80 this cost me around 50 dollar per one piece what i did with the four dollar harbor freight is i put that on the floor because in the basement it's a concrete floor so at least i'm making good use of those blankets to prevent any sound coming from the bottom so what i have done so far is i put moving blankets here so i have all that at the floor so that it reduces the echo otherwise it's all concrete and it's going to be pretty bad so just to get some soundproofing i did this acoustic blanket here and this is just a wallpaper um, photo background paper and behind this also is acoustic uh, blankets something like this then some wiring so i get some more plugs to put in these lights and some practical lights like this nothing crazy i've just painted the wall here with white color typically in my video i just put the background like this so you won't even see this white background but if i use a wide angle i didn't want an exposed wall so i painted it white apart from that on top also i put acoustic blanket to prevent any sound dampening from the upstairs and i also fixed two lights coming one straight to me and one for overhead shot so that goes on top of that table if i have to showcase anything i can do that here because this light is slightly pointed towards this table and this light on the right this is a little bigger and it is pointing onto my face and then i have a tv setup back so i can see what's in focus and the camera with the teleprompter at the back so right now it's all messy because i'm going to remove this right now this table that i was using was a broken table so it had two stands and the other two legs broke so i was using this you know one thing to less worry about when shooting videos because it's standing on that supportive system and i have to put a log to adjust the height so i have to just not move at all so with the standing desk i do not have to worry about all that so this goes to the garbage now when i sit down all those things exposed those won't show up because the angle is going to be looking down so i believe this should be a good shot and all i have to do now is to bring the table here and put it right in front of that so that's all my looking at the screen and controlling the device and the table and chair if needed would go here all right so for the overhead camera i have this rig I built this log like a T-shape, hard to see because of the light and the blanket covering that. But it's sitting like a T-shape, so it's just hanging. I can move this around. And the plan is to have a ball head here, and then I can attach a Zony ZV-1 because it's lightweight. That way this comes down all the way up to here. And then this is a extendable rod that goes all the way to the back up to here and then down this is where i'm gonna put a rode video mic that way i can have a direct sound coming in here so so finally i have completed the basement studio setup right now i have the overhead camera and also the main camera here set up and i have connected the microphone here which is right outside the frame and if i can bring it a little bit you can see that's the microphone it's just above the frame so that it's not visible to the audience and it is connected to the main camera which is the Blackmagic Pocket 6K and for the overhead I'm using the Sony ZV-1. I was using too much light previously so I figured this is a better way because if I turn on another light here let me show you how that looks like. All right I have turned on just that light and previously I had another light here and also on the top. I believe that's too much light and that is the thing with the video even if you have light and if you use too much then it takes away from the visual sense of the video so keep it to the minimum and light the subject and in this case because i'm talking to you guys i'm the subject on this video so keep the focus on that rather than lighting everything in the scene
So let me know again what you think about this setup. And if you have any questions about any of these equipments, I'll put affiliate link or uh, Amazon link so you can check it out. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.